Hey family, it's me. I just wanted to check in for a few. Today was, uh, or is, because I think it's around 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I know for the most part, a lot of you always see me smiling, which is good because it's authentic. But today was just one of those days where, I mean, it's, it's still a good day. But I was just in this mood of, lack of better terms, just basically like, uh, leave me alone. Like, for real, for whatever reason, it was like, I just, ugh, like, you know. And so I was like, okay, I'm not going to give that in too much energy, right? So I start after I finished my day around I want to say about four ish. So I started dinner, turned on some of my favorite music, um, some of my favorite um, YouTubers, and was listening to some positive uh, affirmations. And I was just cooking and doing good. Everything was good. And to rewind. On my way in, you know, home, I stopped. Uh, there was this local growth, uh, farm who always park, I think once a week or twice a week sometimes. Not too far from my subdivision. I had some green tomatoes. So I pulled in and got me a couple of green tomatoes. And um, so I get home. I batter them up. You know, cook them up. They look so pretty. Oh. So I'm cooking dinner, everything looks good. Listen to my music. So I bit into the tomato. I was like, hmm. Okay, this is good. You know, so I continue. I was like, oh my God, this is too salty. And so I done I was, oh my goodness, I used the same batter for something else. So I bit into that and the whole batch was too salty. I, this is real. This is what happened today. So I was like, okay, all this good looking food down the drain. But more importantly, I was feeling some type of way because I had wasted so much time, right? So I just grabbed my purse and my keys and told my sons, I was like, you guys, I'll be back. They were like, where are you going? And I, uh, I, just, I just wanted to grab with them, like, you know what? I'm going to get dinner. So I left and uh, went to the local fast, I guess you would call it fast food restaurant. I just got <laughs> a big family meal and came on home with and just sat on the counter and said, okay, here we go. And so to add insult to injury, right? I, you know, while I was cooking, I made a nice batch of tea. I mean, I was doing it. Up. I was and I was doing everything. And the tea was too sweet. So once again, I was like, oh, are you kidding me? The food was too salty. The tea was too sweet. I'm like, what is going on? Because I am a really good cook. So, you know, I just kind of did some deep breathing. I came and sat to myself. And my children was like, mom, it's, it's okay, you know. And I was like, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, when you're in it, you can't see the solutions, right? And my little one, my youngest daughter, she was like, Mom, we can always add water to the tea. <laughs> I was like, hmm, that is true, right? And then my youngest son, who's 11, was like, Mom, why don't we just add some honey to the, because um, I had fried some chicken and it was too salty. So why don't we just add some honey and some agave nectar and see if it'll, you know, kind of offset the salt. All of those were great ideas, but I was just so into it and how I had missed the mark. So I just grabbed my purse and keys and went and spent some money <laughs> that could have went somewhere else. And as I think about it, all of that came together because I was in my emotions. 
And when you are, it reminds me that when you're going through it, you you can't see the solutions. And that's okay. That's why I always tell you, have a, or try to in a way, have someone to lean on. A, um, someone outside of you who can, you, you can call and they can look at your situation because they can see the solutions that are right there in front of you. Okay. A, um, I forgot what I call it. The appendix. I, I can't recall because I'm still in those emotions, you guys. So even after 11 years as a widow, because I remember my taste buds being off when my husband first passed away. So just know when you're going through it, give yourself continued permission to not get it right, to miss the mark. And when you're too far in your emotions, reach out to somebody that you can depend on or a professional. All right? Don't stay in these emotions. Feel, it, feel them and move through them. All right? And get back to that smile. Remember, because these smiles have to be.